Hi, my name is Nav Mathur. I'm here with Joe from Intelligent Tag. Joe, welcome. Thanks, Nav. Uh, Joe, why don't you kind of introduce yourself and uh, talk to us a little bit about Intelligent Tag. Sure. My name is Joe Stefanik. I am the CEO of Intelligent Tag. Uh, our product offering is a product called Symmetry 3. And what Symmetry 3 does, it interpolates your existing graph models to provide a level of governance around that model to help you penetrate an enterprise. So how did you go about uh, figuring out, you know, graph is the right technology for you? Well, it, it became a performance-focused uh, initiative, so to speak. Uh, we were historically working on relational databases in the area of data lineage. And if you look at data lineage, it's a very recursive process to be able to understand source and target information. When you work with large organizations, you'll have hundreds of thousands of data lineages of which could have literally millions of sources and targets. To do the analysis, whether it be impact analysis, opportunity, or gap analysis, we needed to do that kind of analytic quickly. We turned the graphs for that because the recursive power of doing that analytic on a graph was 10 times, if not 100 times, faster than it would be on a relational store. Excellent. Um, maybe uh, you could tell us a little bit about uh, specific business problems, business situations that you've encountered that you're addressing uh, with Intelligent Tag. Uh, I think that would help uh, people watching this video as they could relate to it better. The, the biggest problem that we're seeing now in the context of data lineage is the area of fraud and understanding uh, how the databases, the ETLs, the business warehouses are or are not being compliant with regulatory compliance. Uh, liability is often at the highest levels in terms of uh, who was liable for not ensuring that their data lineage is one understandable, traceable, back up to not only the semantic and or ontology level, but also through the IT levels. Um, we find that to be the biggest driver right now for um, data lineage in our product sets. So t uh, tell us about uh, a, sp a specific customer situation, maybe with fraud or with, with some type of regulations that you know you were looking at. Um. Well, in, in, in many of the banking, uh, many of our banking customers, uh, they are being driven by FIBO regulations, uh, FATCA, KYC, and to that end, uh, they have to ensure that that data lineage is one there, and that it is correct. So. Our technology will discover that through our parsers, through our bridges as we call them, map that to a common warehouse model using the object management group standard mm -hmm. and map that back to a, an ontology standard. And we're able to, through the analytical power of the graph, determine quickly whether there's gaps existing at any one of those levels. That's really interesting. So you actually can introspect into an existing data model, database, uh, and and glean from that, and you actually can map it to a standards compliant data model. That, that's correct, at any level, whether you're at the, the, the regulatory driver or whether you're just at a semantic level of understanding what an oil well is. I might have 10 instances of a table that is defined as an oil well. Uh, any one of those dimensions, uh, data lineage slash the graph underneath that slash the intelligent tag product uh, can quickly enable that, that that introspective view. Mm -hmm. So can you just uh, talk to us a little bit about the process uh, that you go through when you implement um, a solution at a customer? Well, it's, a, it's an assessment as we call right. it. So we will enter a, a site, we will take some sample data, a database, ETL, business warehouse, and we'll take a look at it in the context of data quality. That's first and foremost. We'll give the customer an idea how long this assessment's gonna take uh, how long the project will take, present to them what we call value early and often. Are there gaps in the data? Is the lineage not looking like it's anywhere near being correct? From that, we'll formally size a project to come up with a project plan to deliver that lineage from which additional value adds as we talk um, are exposed. Yeah, there's a lot of regulations you mentioned that's driving uh, data lineage today. Uh, as a solution, and then you're right in the thick of that. Uh, appreciate you coming in, in here and uh, giving us a view of that. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Nav.